Hi, my name is Joseph Kinney. I'm white and have been since the day I was born. Recently, I stumbled across a book entitled Stuff White People Like, written by Christian Lander. Now, being white myself, I was, of course, intrigued by the title of the book and was ever so curious to find out just what it was about. And the book contains exactly what you'd think, a pretentious commentary on stuff white people like. Now, Lander had some interesting notions, but I was curious to find out just how truthful his ideas about white people were. So in the short documentary you are about to view, I'm making an attempt to explore and find out whether or not Lander knows the stuff white people really like. There's me. Now, I knew that in order to get to the bottom of this book, I would have to travel to the Caucasian capital of the world, which, according to Lander, happens to be my old hometown, Portland, Oregon. So I hopped in my girlfriend's dad's car and hit the highway in search of White Central. And after some tough sledding, through Northern California and Southern Oregon, we'd hit the jackpot. White heaven. Portland, Oregon. Now, Lander says, statistically, Portland, Oregon is the whitest metropolis in the, in the United States. And unsurprisingly, it's also the most biker-friendly, vegan-friendly, and GLBT-friendly city in America. So the first place I decided to go was 39th and Multnomah Street, where my parents live. And they, too, have been white their entire lives, so I couldn't think of a better place to start my journey. This is my dad. It's currently 9 a.m. Saturday morning and he's getting together his morning cup of coffee. Lander states that as white people begin to age, a genuine taste for coffee will emerge. And during this time period, white people will also develop a self-proclaimed addiction. This leads to them saying things like, You don't want to see me before I get my morning cup of coffee. And I know I wouldn't want to see my dad before he gets his morning cup of coffee. Another item Lander believes white people can't live without is dogs. So when I saw my neighbors, Eric and Elena, walking their dogs, I decided to track them down and find out just how much these two white people care about their pups. Yes. Cold, okay, yes. Galileo, I know you don't have your jacket, Galileo. Yeah, he doesn't. So, you wanted Galileo in the wedding. I did. And uh, what, was the, what was the reason? Why, why, why can't we have Galileo in the wedding? Well, because we're going to have it in the Shakespeare Garden, which is the Rose Garden in Portland, Washington Park. Dogs are not allowed there at all because oh. it's a test garden, so he can't be in it. But we were going to put him in a little blue bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been great. But and I do think he would he would um, possibly pee there, so they oh. want that. Yeah, for most of the walk, he was in my jacket. Oh. <laughs> Now Lander says it should be understood that in white culture, dogs are considered training for having children, and all white couples must get a dog before having kids. And believe it or not, Eric and Elena are a young couple planning to have kids in the near future. Now due to time constraints, here are a few items Lander was correct about. Oh yeah, I got uh, naked city right here. I be your mirror, reflect what you are, in case you don't know. I when I saw chapter 74, I was very excited. Here was a chance for me to explore a once in a year oh, white thing. Yeah. Luckily my mom had been invited to a little party. Yeah. yeah. So much fun. I know, and you've seen all the movies. Yes, so, so I'm really ready to yeah. watch and see who wins, so yeah. I'm prepped. I've been watching all the movies. All your friends yeah. will be watching the red carpet, and you yeah. look like you could be on the red I carpet. I think yourself. Sally's going to be there, yeah. and Debbie, and Terry, and Kim, and Tina. All my friends are going to be there. It's always a good time. Yeah. So I sent my mom undercover to explore a Portland Oscar party. right next door at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Johnny well, it appears Lander was right. White people sure do love their Oscar parties. But as I read on in this chapter, I became confused. Lander writes, and I quote, It's absolutely essential that you prepare in advance to the party. As you should know by now, white parties are never just about showing up and having fun. But being a college student, I have been to many parties put on by a white person in which all you do is show up and have fun. So, of course, I became confused. But this was only the beginning. As I read on, I ran into chapter 52, about Sarah Silverman. Lander writes, and I quote, White people can't get enough of her. Her whole shtick is saying really offensive things, but it's okay because she's pretty and has a small voice. But I wouldn't mind if I never heard her voice again. And then Lander went on to say, White people love the movie Juno. But I hate the movie Juno. And then I thought back to chapter 1, about coffee. So what does this mean? Does this mean I'm not really white? Or, I'm not as white as I should be? But if race is predominantly based on skin color and visual appearance, 
then how can one white person be more white than the next? Then I saw something that made me think even more. In chapter 147, Lander states that white people love public transit that isn't a bus. But when I rode the BART this last weekend, I was the only white person in my car. Everyone else was black. Does this mean that black people are white too? Maybe the fact that my dad loves coffee, my neighbors love their dogs, and my mom loves Oscar parties has nothing to do with their skin color. And I do think Colbert and Stewart are hilarious, but that doesn't have anything to do with the color of my skin. Maybe race is just constructed by society, designed to formulate roles for each culture which leads to the attaching connotations to one's color of skin. Such connotations as white people love Stewart and Colbert, which I do, or white people love Sarah Silverman, which I don't. So a person might look at me and see the color of my skin and automatically think, hey, that guy's white. He must like Sarah Silverman. But I don't. I don't like Sarah Silverman. That's unfair. I'm the twisted name on Garbo's eyes. 